Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Traveling with Tacker. In this episode, we'll be checking out Isla Mirada, Florida, here in the Florida Keys, which is quite possibly one of my favorite places on earth. Granted, I might be a bit partial due to the fact that my husband and I got married here in 2013, but honestly, it's one of the dog friendliest hotels that we've ever stayed at. In addition, we'll also show you some cool activities to do with your furry friends while here in the Keys. So push pause, go grab your favorite island drink, push play, and enjoy. Casa Mirada is in Isla Mirada, Florida, and it's an hour and a half south of Miami, halfway to Key West. It has 16 suites, so it's a boutique hotel. Super, super cool. They have breakfast complimentary from like 8 to 11. Amenities like bikes and kayaks and paddle boards. Uh, the first time I came here, they weren't sure if Tucker was going to like it, which he did. And they offered to watch them, and just like at the reception area. Um, they will walk your dog for you. There's a little welcome bag when you get into the hotel room. So it's awesome. Tucker loves the grounds. There's the foliage everywhere. He thinks it's his, uh, his backyard. There are no shortage of friends for Tucker at Casa Morada. It's a dog lover's paradise. He loves getting to meet dogs from all over the US, but this trip, Tucker met the love of his life, Lola. Lola is a local dog whose mom is Casey, who works at Casa Mirada. Casey brought Lola to spend some quality time with Tucker on her day off. Lola seems to like the water a little bit more than Tucker, but that's okay. He still had a blast getting to play with all the doggies, especially Lola, who so kindly brought him some super yummy treats that they shared together. Mirada Bay is one of my favorite dog-friendly restaurants in the Keys. It has outdoor seating with tables spread across a large sandy area that is right on the water. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to eat on the sand with your pup, but they do have tables on the patio beside the bar that you're allowed to sit at with your doggy. The food is really, really good. And one of my favorite dishes they have is the Shiseido Peppers Appetizer. They also have a really long list of super yummy island drinks and their pina colada is a must. They also have this cute little Airstream trailer with all sorts of goodies to check out after you're done eating. Another unique thing that you'll find in the Keys is free roaming wild chickens. Fun fact, they shot several scenes for the Netflix series Bloodline here at Murata Bay. There's no denying that the water here is the main attraction when you come to the Keys. We've rented a motorboat to help explore everything that it has to offer. Luckily for me, my husband can operate a motorboat, but for those that wouldn't know how to, I can get a tour guide to take you snorkeling, sailing, or even on eco tours with you and your pup. We rented our motorboat from Bump and Jump Boat Rentals in Isla Mirada, and Tucker's done surprisingly well. He loves it even more than I thought he would. It's the combination of sunbathing and I think feeling the breeze through his hair, like when he sticks his head out the car window. So he's happy as a clam. One of the cool things about having a boat is getting to explore and see all the wildlife that you don't get to see in other parts of the country. For example, my favorite, the manatee. Also known as sea cows, they're super docile and slow moving. They're on the endangered species list, so look only. No touching or feeding. Very close to Casa Morana is an island known as the Bird Island where you can see male frigates doing their best job to impress all the single ladies. Now, 
If you have a big enough boat and all the right safety equipment, you can head a few miles off the coast to Alligator Reef Lighthouse. This is a great place to go snorkeling. And while we were there, we got to see a group of dolphins swimming by. They literally started surfing our boat wake too. Another super popular boating attraction is the famous Isla Mirada Sandbar. Located off Winley and Upper Matacumbe Keys, in the channel between the Postcard Inn and Whale Harbor. Here you can anchor your boat, relax in the warm, warm, shallow water. Tucker likes being in the water with me, so brought him his own boat along named the USS Tucker Swingery. And as you can see, he thought this was the perfect opportunity to fit in a little nap. I then headed back to the hotel as the sun set over the Florida Bay. Not a bad way to end the day. And that's it for this episode of Traveling with Tucker. Make sure to visit our website for links on all the places we visited in this episode. And like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And lastly, to quote Karen Davison, saving one dog will not change the world, but for that one dog, the world will change forever. For Tucker, it surely has. Always consider pet adoption when adding a new member to your family. Till next time, safe travels. Go to travelingwithtucker.com for more information. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can keep making these awesome videos. Thanks for watching.